This is Dorian Day, and welcome to Serum in Depth number 30. Today, we're going to be talking about how many frames you need in your wavetable. So now that we have these perfect wavetables that are um, perfect reproductions of, you know, whatever synthesizer, in this case, I've been using Massive. So we have these perfect animations that are 256 frames long, but how many of these frames do we actually need? Well, it depends. Um, not that many in reality, probably just two. So what does this mean? Well, it means that we could probably, at least in the case of simple waveforms, just sample the first and last um, points and just combine them because that's all that's happening in massive anyways for these. Sine square saw. It's just a square wave to a saw wave and it morphs. It's that simple. However, Obviously, this technique is for when you maybe can't get the first or the final, or there's complicated things happening in between. But um, there's other considerations to look at about how many wave frames you're actually using. So let's drag in polysaw. Now you can hear it sounds pretty bad. It's reminiscent of the original. That's not it. Um, I guess I have it here. Poly saw. So that's the one pretty much straight out of Massive um, using the easy method. And then this, of course, was from a sample. So it's reminiscent. It's, you can see here what it's trying to do, but it doesn't do it very successfully, mostly because um, it's changing in pitch, and Serum doesn't do super well um with this constant frame method on sounds that change pitch it tends to distort it sounds scratchy with that said this sounds kind of cool and there's so definitely something creative about choosing wrong sample rates or having too many frames but if we drop some out We clean up the tone a lot. It doesn't sound as uh, scratchy or distorted. And you can try different um, granularities. You don't, you don't have to delete as many frames as I did. We can try maybe with less.
Let's see about this. You don't want too many frames looking very similar. So it's hard to, I mean, it still resembles the original. It's just definitely not as rich. But let's take a, a waveform that worked pretty well to begin with, which I think this is the frame rate for modern talking. No. These are not finalized waveforms. Oh no, it's 8192, as we found out at the end of two videos ago. Right? Eight one nine three. So, how many of these frames do we need? Well, we can try getting rid of all but two. Too much. There's 60 in total, so I'm going to take away like, I'm going to leave like six. Okay, let's morph. So you can see that you don't need as many frames as we originally had. And it still retains most of its qualities. Yeah, I'm not sure I notice a difference at all. So you don't need that many waveframes. Um, if we go through some of Massive's, you can see, let's see, Dirty Needle has, I don't know, eight or so. This one has like 25. This one has 20-ish. This one has four. Some of serums. This has like 15. It's a six. These are, these are my tables, they're not very useful. This one has I don't know, 40, 64, I guess. So there you go. Um, you can go get a lot done with just a couple tables or frames and then morphing between them. You don't need, you know, 256 or even 100. So I think that does it. Thanks.